how to create a zigzag pattern in Affinity Photo. First thing to do, create a new document, file and new. And I'm going to go for a thousand by a thousand for the pattern. And also I want a transparent background. So just go down there, transparent background. And then create. Now you can see your file there. Just move that over slightly. Now the layers is quite useful, that panel, and you can find that via the view and studio. Let's move things out of the way. And go to view and go down to snapping manager. Enable snapping, make certain that's on and you can see snap to grid, snap to guides, etc. in there. Close. Then go to view and grid. And what I want is a 10 by 10. So that's going to be 100 pixels. So go to basic and then set that to 100. And also go up to show grid. And now you can see your grid. Next thing to do, go to the pen tool. See the pen tool there. And then just go to the intersection of those, that grid. Far side and then click, go up and then down down and just go across all the way to create a zigzag design. Now at the moment, of course, it's just a line. You can see it snaps to the grid there. Just makes it easy to create a very uniform grid. Oops, still need to move that layer slightly across. So I can just see that. That's it. Click there. Then go down one. Click there. So that's the right side, and then go up again, and then just follow the same all the way across. So there you've got your zigzag design. And of course, at the moment, it's got no fill. But I'm going to fill it with something. And also, there's no stroke as well. So you go up to the fill, and you can change the colour. Now you can change that later, of course. You can vary it. Just go up to fill and change the colour. I'm going to go with red, go with green, blue, whatever. Now I'm just going to crop it. Crop the document now. Just going to go drag that from the top down and then try and see where it is. Very hard to see, actually. Just move the document a bit. So somewhere, ah, right. So sometimes when you've got all these lines, it's very hard to actually see the grid. Anyway, you can still move that down. It will snap to, now I can see where it is. So you've got exactly matching the zigzag. Press return. So it's cropped. You've got exactly your pattern now. What you can do, of course, you can save it. Save it to a PNG file. So file and export. And of course you could save it to other formats. But I always like to go with PNG. It's fairly universal, so you can use it in other applications. That's a thousand by two hundred. And of course you could create many more zigzag designs than that. You can make maybe multiple layers of that zigzag design. One trouble sometimes is you end up with panels just in the way. Click export. Give it a name, 1.png. Again, you've got panels in the way again. Just it always seems to be the way. It's weird. You'd think that these things would resize themselves now because they could see that the panel's there. And you could just, it would resize it. But it doesn't do that. Anyway, that's a, an idea for.
things. So once you've done that, you can go and create a new document, file, and just any any file size, 1,280 by 720, perfect reasonable, and create that. So you got you got now. I don't want the grid, so I'm just going to quickly get rid of that. So view menu, and there is a show grid there as well. In the I could use that, but I'm just going to go to the grid and access manager, and just deselect that. Close. Close that panel. So once you've done that, what you can then do, you can add your pattern. Now you think you can add it via the gradient tool. But the best way of doing it is the layer and new fill layer. Once you've got that, what you can do, you can go up to the top and just type, select bitmap. Then it will give you a browser and click there. And again, <laughs> a panel's in the way. So click open. And you can see now you've got your pattern. And of course, what you can do, you can change the scale interactively very quickly that way. And you can also change the quality, etc., as well as the extends, so that is wrap, etc. I'll show you those in a sec. You go to wrap and mirror, which is quite a nice one as well. It creates a nice zigzag design. This one is the one that happens when you go with the uh, gradient tool. And then the last one, zero. I think that should be called one or single. It's called zero. And of course, you can change the quality as well. So you've got that design and you can continue to manipulate it. You can rotate it, scale it. So you've got your zigzag design, your pattern. And of course, it could be used as a texture as well. And you can make it fairly small. What you can also do, of course, you can go to the layer and you can duplicate it. So you've got two layers now, exactly the same. And you can, of course, modify them independently, rotate them, scale them, and you can create all kinds of different designs that way. And of course, what you could do, of course, you could have a different pattern on top. Maybe, or maybe use a solid color as well. So you can change things, apply different colors, different blending modes, always possible. Of course, you can always go back to the original source document, just change the color. So you could create three or four or hundred different zigzag designs. And of course, what you can do, you can always add to that zigzag design. So you could change the color, but you could also, of course, add circles or squares on top of the zigzag to create maybe a more unique zigzag design. I'm just going to go with blue there. And again, exactly as before, go and save it via the file and export. Again, PNG format and export as this time, I'm going to go with 2.png. Not the most original name. The way it works is because, of course, you know, one thing I mentioned, the transparency of the background makes it so you don't have just a white background or a black background. It's not so good that way. just makes it easier to combine things. Go back to the main document. And, of course, what you can do, you can always just simply go up to the bitmap section again. Just select it again. I know it's weird. It's already selected, but just select it again and then go to 2.png and then open. And then what you get, you get your lovely new pattern, blue pattern this time. And you can obviously modify that, scale it, rotate it, etc. And of course, once you've done that, you can export the whole design, maybe with PSD, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always add new tutorials, Infinity Photo, Photoshop, etc. Please add some comments, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.